Tea Celebrity Reads. I'm your host, Alexis K. Tyler. I'm going to do a brief reading on YNW Melly, a lady, gave me a donation for a 15-minute reading. And a 15-minute reading is for one question only. I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of details and tell anything about YNW Melly's case. I haven't even looked. I have no, I have no interest in it. And nobody else has asked for a reading on him either. So um, if you're not paying for a full reading to do an hour reading to go give details, I'm not giving them. You're not going to use me and take advantage of me. So uh, it's going to be short and, and quick and sweet and to the point. Uh, basically, I'm not seeing a whole bunch around this situation. Uh, I don't know what's going to come out of it. All I know is he has a lot of trouble in fighting at this time. And he did kill these two men. He was in conflict and was jealousy and competition with these two men. He really didn't have to kill those two men like he did. They were his best friends. It looked like they would ride or die for him. And he set them up. Shot. I saw one of them was a nice looking guy. Light skinned guy that he was jealous of and in, in competition with. And this guy was doing a lot of his dirty work. And he was getting the credit for what he had the guy do, the light-skinned one that he shot in the back of the head, I think. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't watch the case, so I don't know all the details about that case, but I know that he's guilty of what he did. And this guy is very demonic. I don't remember the reading I mentioned this on briefly, but I already said it. And so... Basically, like I said, just going to resolve this and be through with it because this guy is guilty and very demonic and he did this. He's guilty of it. And I don't see him completely walking away with no type of punishment. And then in that case, I do remember briefly seeing that he had also put a hit out on his own mother who has been standing by his side and trying to get him out and the souls of these men are not resting from what he did and they want justice for what he did. And it's clear that, uh, I mean, he already had his music, I think his music contract when he did this and he's a big liar and trying to act as if he should not be charged and walk free with this. They're fighting and having conflict around this case right now. He's trying to rest and basically play the innocent role or be quiet and trying to move forward, but it's too much conflict here. And their law enforcement is still on him. And his lawyer is trying to deal with this case. He's still fighting a group of people about this case. So they might end up retrying him because they know he's a liar and he's very manipulative. There's just a lot of trouble around him, and a lot of fighting around him. And it looks like he's also gang related. He's in a gang inside of the, uh, the prison, and it looks like he has a lover inside the prison. Somebody that knows his businesses and his details, and they might give information to the police to get some time off. There are also two older women here. One is his mother, who has money because he's in a hangman position and trying to, uh, to fight for him to get out. But there's also a woman that he dealt with or that he's dealing with. So this lady is a mother, but also has money and is in a position of power. So I'm wondering, is he dealing with a woman inside of that jail that moves in and out of that jail, as well as having a lover, a male lover inside of that jail? But it's something that has blown up about this case. Something radical has happened and somebody's doing magic behind the scene trying to control the outcome of this case or shift the outcome of this case but he just had a major fall so i don't um at this time i don't see him just walking out of jail and getting away with this because there's too much fighting and there's too much conflict around this even jealousy and conflict and trying to overpower another person him trying to bully another person and show that he is in control. This guy is very skinny and he comes off as frail and weak and innocent. 
this guy's not like that at all. He's very violent. He's very evil, very wicked, very, very vindictive. And he will try to control this by going behind the scene and intimidating people and trying to scare people and even kill them or threaten to kill them. He's a big liar. And he pretends that uh, something is one way when it's really another. That's why I don't even know why somebody is concerned about this piece of shit. Because uh, he deserves everything he gets. And he's very two-faced and backstabbing. And there is someone here that's speaking on the other side about him doing the dirty shit he did. And in a three-way three relationship with him and those two men. And there's a lot of heartbreak and pain around what he has done and how he murdered those two young men. They clearly trusted him to be along with him and do his dirty work for him and commit crimes for him that he took credit for. And now it's created so much heartbreak and sleepless nights for the parents, the people that love them um, because of what he did to them. And they're trying to get this to smooth over now. The, his mother, too, is trying to get this to smooth over, trying to push away from this and start over. It doesn't look like this getting ready to happen. It looks like he also has some type of substance abuse problem. He's taking drugs in there as well as like involved in sexual relationships in jail. They could be male and female. And this man called himself uh, liking him or caking on him, like uh, fucking him and then buying him like strawberry cake treats or cherry treats and shit on the side with some drinks. I look, call himself want to marry him or get out and do projects with him. Man, look. I don't mm. like they, he they they call themselves in love or got them a crush on each other, like, like sending love messages and shit and sex faces and I, it's two niggas, man. I you know what? Man, I don't even want to get into this here. Then they done got the fighting in now. He wanna be on top of the world, he wanna be back out and be a star again and rapping. <sighs> Then this other man, look like he got this bandage around his head, but he done knocked him upside the head. Then they're fucking and fight. You know what? Man, look, I ain't got time for this shit this late at night. He called his, this is a relationship. We up there knocking this other man in the head and knocking him full of dick. They over there fight. You know what? I don't, I don't even want to do this, man. I ain't, I can't, I hate this come up. They got this new relationship with this nigga that like fucking this nigga, but then whoop this nigga ass. This nigga in there with a fucking head bandage on and bust this nigga in the head and not. Oh, Lord Jesus. I don't, I don't really see in, in much, uh, much else about this here. I, I really have no interest in this here. There's another female. There are two women involved in this and one of them is in jail. One of them being bound by this situation. And it's, it's, it's another woman and a man that's very emotionally attached to them. This might be the parents of the other two involved. And then there is a gang leader here. There's a leader over him telling him what to do. Leading this situation that's very dangerous and very violent, but he's also inside of law enforcement. Hmm. I'm just looking at the cars. I don't, uh, he, I'm sure he will eventually get out because his lawyers and his mother are working to get him out. And there are females too. There are people wanting him to get out. I guess his fans, there's still going to be more legal issues that he has to deal with before this is just over. They're not just going to drop the charges and let him walk out of jail. He has to deal with the consequences of this situation. Other than that, that's it. That's it. I'm not looking any deeper at this situation. That's all I know. I don't really want to know anything else. This is a person that needs to pay for everything they've done. A disgusting human being that looked just like a cockroach to me. 
Look like one of them king cockroaches with them antenna on top of his head. All he needed one of them damn crowns on it. He looked just like one of them, goddammit. And uh, I don't see anything else. That's, that's, that's the reading. That's it.